All right, so I was thinking about it. I wanted to kind of balance out my last video real quick. So on the flip side to like bone strengthening and, you know, basically what I feel is the, the heart of human life. Very, very tiny. Organisms that live inside of your bones. That's the heart of human life. That's what I believe. The flip side of that, which is probably the heart of human death, is our inability to detoxify correctly. This is the lymphatic system, or the waters of the body. So having the waters of your body purified on a regular basis, I think, is um, the, the primary cause of good health. And the inability to, to cleanse um, the acidic bile that builds up in, in our soft tissues. The inability to wash that clean, um, to neutralize the acidic fats, um, and to hydrate the cells simultaneously uh, is the cause of, of most human disease. So we're always fighting you know, bacteria, fungus, and viruses. Um, generally, I think it would go largely unnoticed uh, if it wasn't for the acidic waste products building up from the dead cells. So that's really where I'm at, is stretching out the spine, um, maintaining hydration. Specifically, I'll hold water in my mouth because I do believe that the mouth introduces... Um, uh, anything really to your uh, circulatory system and your lymphatic system. I think it's one of the places most mucous membranes is where the circulatory system meets the lymphatic system. And um, so when doing stretching and stuff, holding some water in your mouth, I think is better than holding it in your stomach. Um, and conversely, using what we know about pressure differentials. So we have muscles in our face and we have the ability to swallow or not swallow. So we can pressurize the vessel that is our mouth. And uh, by doing so, in my mind, uh, create a reduced pressure differential um, between that fluid and the fluid that is in our body and in doing so uh, super hydrate ourselves and I think that we can do the same thing with oxygen and et cetera, et cetera. so I mean I think that that, that pretty much sums it up uh, maintaining good health is the byproduct of you know feeding the, the essence of life which is the bones, and uh, maintaining systemic pH. And I there's so much pseudoscience around pH. I think that it, if you're not starting with the lymphatic system as a whole, in the fluidity of the lymphatic system, talking about pH is a waste of time. Because you're talking about the pH of your urine, but you could have a glob stuck up in your right arm, whatever, uh, that is so acidic, it's absolutely causing arthritis or gout or cancer or anything, right? Now, if not causing it, within its absence, it would be prevented because your body would be able to tolerate the, the disease, the underlying bacteria or virus, um, but it's actually the biofilm and the uh, acidic waste products that are causing the symptoms um, and creating the microenvironment that allows the uh, microorganisms that are causing it's a it's a feedback loop you get it so i think if you can manage both those sides your your life will improve that's that's it yeah